Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today we're having a look at the Lefroig quarter cask. And the big thing about this yeah, bottling is the cask. So let's have a look at uh, what is a quarter cask. The name suggests it's just a quarter as big as a normal cask, but question is what is a normal cask and usually what we today associate as normal casks would be bourbon cask so bourbon cask 200 liter 52 gallons a quarter of that would be 50 liters that would be i don't know 12 and a half gallons or something like that or 13 gallons and yeah that's not right um a quarter cask is 125 liters and if you then multiply that by five you would get to the normal cask and that's 500 liters and that is ex pretty much exactly a standard sherry cask and that is the when the quarter cask was kind of introduced or defined the standard cask was not the bourbon cask the bourbon industry was definitely not like significant worldwide but it was the sherry industry so yes the sherry cars were the standard cars back in the days that's why back in the days the quarter cask was defined as 125 liters a quarter of a sherry cask and this is exactly what the Lafroig was matured in for um, five years in ex-bourbon casks and then quarter casks and this gives um, quarter casks are smaller than the usual Cars even smaller than bourbon cars, 125 to 100 and um, uh, 200 liters. So 125 would be then I don't know 30 gallons, something like that. Yeah, but they are smaller, and when you have a smaller size of um, a volume, then you have more surface area compared to the uh, volume inside the cask. So more surface area means more contact with oak, and therefore a uh, much stronger and yeah intense additive maturation yeah also more uh yeah charcoal layer on the outside of the cask and that gives you that filtering effect uh with the whiskey why the whiskey is not that sharp so we have on one side we have more intensity from the cask but also less um intensity from the spirit because of yeah more oak uh, if you'd like to know more about uh, the distillery of Lafroig. We have the distillery video. I've just been at the Lafroig distillery just a few months ago, uh, linked down in the description where I explain everything about the distillery. Yeah. So, cheers. Oh, nice. That's a, that's a really, really nice, smoky, smoky Isla whiskey. It's medicinal phenolic smoked very typical for Lafroig and that is yeah the epitome of uh, a Lafroig whiskey mm. Mm. already a bit sweetness in there as well maybe that's from the the uh, caramel and vanilla inside the the oak mm. 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 Oh, this is an intense quarter cask Lafroig. Mm. Yeah, Lafroig is an intense distillery, intense brand, but the quarter cask just gives a kick to it that is well above that what we know, and whew, yeah, that gives you smoke, oak, sweetness, fruitiness. Mm, ah, fruitiness is a bit of a side player but smoke and oak <laughs> smoke and oak mm, and that is really nice mm, that sweetness comes on a little bit later when you have it in your aftertaste although not most complex whiskey that we have but a lovely really stereotypical isla phenolic sea made whiskey i love it Mm. Mm. For a whiskey on the side, you must really like the tough stuff. Um, otherwise, it's just too demanding because it's just oh, so much going on in your mouth with all the smoke and oak 
yeah but yeah also not beginners friendly <laughs> i would say if you happen to live in the netherlands and you would like to buy the lafroy quarter cask have a look at whiskey.com and find a quarter cask in our shop thank you very much for watching and see you next time